Hi, welcome to automation testing .in. in this video, we are going to see extent reports log generation. Uh, usually logs will be used to track your execution flow. Uh, that uh, if you generate logs, uh, if something goes wrong, you can you can debug like uh, where it, uh, exactly the test case got failed. Means after which step uh, there is a failure. So you'll come to know that kind of information. Apart from that, you can give an extra information in the report that what happened while executing the test case. So uh, we can we can generate logs also in the extent reports. Now we'll see how we can achieve that in the extent reports. For that, we'll go to Eclipse. Uh, I'll create a new class and I'll name it as creating logs okay and once it is done uh, some of the information is same like all the classes which we used to generate the uh, log in the previous video everything is same so I'll take that information um, till here it is enough like please watch previous video to get a better understanding about all these classes and the uh, stuff like you have three classes extend html reporter extend reports and extend test uh, html reporter will take that where you want to generate the report and you have to add that information to the extend reports object as using attach reporter method okay now i'll take a sample test Great test public wide and say log generation. Okay, and say log generation. I'll import this test in addition. Now we have to mention like the test extent test object test equal extent dot create test. It should be the first uh, statement in your method, then only it will capture the information about the test case and it will place in the extent report so after this you have a method called test.log okay test.log and uh, you have status dot info usually you will mention test dot pass test dot fail test dot skip to get those information if you want to uh, get the information about the logs you have to mention status.info I'll mention information like uh, create test method will return the uh, extent test object okay some dummy information you put uh, according to your test case status dot info and I'll mention like uh, what I mean actual test case okay but this is capital status and I'll say some one more line I want to print uh, status Status capital dot info. We will mention like we can write the actual test logic in this test. Here I am giving some dummy data for the sake of demo, but according to your test case, you just mention whatever you want. Uh, in the uh, you can use using labels also I'll mention I'll tell you what is labels uh, if you want to up uh, what do you say uh, apply some color to your logs if you want to apply some colors to your log then you can use uh, labels uh, here test dot you have in, see you can directly use info instead of test dot log status dot info you have one more option called test.info also okay now you have one more uh, what do you say um, class 
and markup helper markup helper dot create label okay the text uh, which you want to print in the color okay i'll say using labels uh, using labels and here i want to apply some color to this uh, what is it uh, log extent color dot i'll say red we have some colors you can use any one of these colors the same way test dot info mm, same way markup helper dot create label and the text is uh, this is test logger one and we'll say extent color dot uh, blue i want to print this information in the form of and the color blue uh, i'll copy paste some more lines and i'll simply mention this is test logger 2 this is 3 and this is 4 okay my test case is completed after completion of the test case you have to mention after test Uh, public void some tilde um, in this i want to mention sorry extent dot flush okay till here uh, it captured the information what it want to put in the report once you say extent dot flush it will flush all the information into the report otherwise it will not show in the uh, report okay Uh, what happened after? Sorry, it is after. After test, okay. I'll import annotation. So, uh, if it if you are not using extend dot flush, you might get error. Otherwise, it will not uh, push the information to the report. Now, what do you say? I mentioned where I want to uh, generate my report, and I'll men I mentioned uh, which information I want to log into the report. You have two ways. test dot log and status dot info otherwise you can directly say test dot info two ways you can generate the log now i'll run this uh, test case sorry test class and we'll see whether it is generated or not i'll go to test output and i'll refresh this one and uh, what it say i take the path of this one where it is and it and then place here in the browser we'll see sorry something wrong see only it got test output my own you see here uh, this is log generation method it got passed and you can see here information like see whatever we have mentioned uh, here create test method will return the extent test object time in the actual test case and we can write the actual test logic in this and some red color star marks in the blue color this log everything got generated see create test method if you not mention any labels it will be the normal uh, black color and if using labels is printed is it red color and the other logs will be generated with the background of blue color if you want to apply some style Color you can like do like this. This way you can track information, and each will be with the timestamp. Means uh, this log is at at twelve twenty eight forty six a.m. and everything is it's it took fraction of seconds. That is the reason uh, all the time is uh, uh, the time is same for all the logs. Okay, this way you can generate the logs in your Excel reports. Okay, uh, that's all in this video. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Auto, uh, Automation uh, Automation Testing YouTube channel for further updates and please like us at our Facebook page.